Hallo Freunde, herzlich willkommen zurück zu Mass Effect. Wir starten gleich mal rein in eine schwierige moralische Entscheidung, weil der Körper einer Frau, die auf Eden Prime umgekommen ist durch den Gaff Angriff, wird von der Allianz immer noch zurückgehalten, anstatt dass sie nach Hause kommt zu ihrem Mann und begraben werden kann, weil Forschung. Weil sie glauben, naja, damit könnte man vielleicht bessere Verteidigungen gegen die Gef entwickeln. How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. Ugh. Tor. You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. Ist die Frage, ist es da... Uh, können wir nochmal zu, zu ihm zurückgehen dann? Ich denke schon, oder? I'll tell Mr. Bacci about this. It might make it easier for him to understand. Schauen Thank mal. you, I appreciate that. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Ah, ich hoffe, wir können nochmal zu ihm zurück. Vielleicht können wir ihn davon überzeugen, hey, es... Mag ihm vielleicht jetzt nicht ganz gefallen, aber erstens, er bekommt es und zweitens ist es ja gut. Dann müssen wir mal ausprobieren. Hallo, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosco? Will he return my wife's body? Tell me again what you'd been told about your wife. As I said, I've been told nothing. I don't understand why they won't release her body to me. Ja, das ist natürlich blöd. Sie müssen zu mir sagen sollen. It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. Ah, das schaut gut aus, ha? Huh? Das könnte man machen. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. She died a hero, Mr. Batya, and now she has a chance to save even more lives. It doesn't matter. She's dead. I just want her to come home. I miss her so much. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. Ja, tut mir leid, aber äh, das war für mich immer noch der... der wow, plus 8, nicht schlecht. Glück gehabt, dass das gut ausgegangen ist. <lacht> Hätte auch gut sein können, dass wir damit äh, ins Fettnäpfchen treten oder gar in Grammelschmalzkübel. Ähm, ich nehme mal an, die warten immer noch auf uns, von daher lass muss sie nicht länger warten. Auf jeden Fall richtiger, diese Tests zu machen, weil wenn sie schon tot ist, so kann man noch mehr Leben retten und das ist schließlich wichtig. Udin is presenting the Quarians evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The Beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. 
Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Ah, we haven't actually seen anything, but so I thought we'd kind of check, no? I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. A legend? A legend from whom then? Because he had no one of these legends heard, or? 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough! You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet Locker. cannot track down one man. Guys, look the out, Dina. fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull. Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an idea, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Sarah. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Yay! Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. Uh, was done, yeah. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Saren. Wunderbar.
Zwei Punkte. Intimidation. Increases the damage and duration of all your powers and attacks by 1%. Increases health. Das ist gut, ja? Das ist gut. Das sollte man vielleicht machen. First Aid. Kriegen wir dann hier. Ist das... <lacht> ja, gehen wir erstmal da rein für stärkere Schilde. Die leveln sich eh selber. Alles klar, das heißt zur Akademie. Zum unsichtbaren Citadel-Mobil. Nope. Ah, das könnte richtig sein. Jo. Ah, da, 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 und jetzt. Äh, da links hinein. Müssen wir das ganze Zeug kaufen oder kriegen wir das auch so? Ich meine, wir haben Zugang zur Super Ausrüstung, aber. Kriegen wir die einfach so? One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stock for you, Commander. Enjoy. So, wir haben Zugriff auf das gute Zeug. Wir können es nicht kaufen, wenn wir kein Geld haben. <lacht> uh, mehr Granaten. Nehmen wir. Unique Item. Ähm... Okay. Hua, und schon sind wir zu teuer. <lacht> Verdammt. Wir haben auch nicht allzu viel zum Verkaufen vermutlich. Moment mal, vielleicht... Mal hier mehr Sachen. Shield Battery 1. Und wir können es auf 2 gehen. Sehr schön. Da ist das nichts. Nope. Hammerhead Rounds. Weapon Force. Shield Bypass. <lacht> ah, vielleicht das hier. Da nehmen wir die chemischen. Da gibt es das nichts. Da haben wir auch nur die gleichen Sachen. Ah, Shield Battery kriegst du natürlich gleich mal. Was bei dir aus? Da haben wir nichts sonst. Okay. Gut. Kein Geld. Kein Geld. Natürlich. Und jetzt. Docking Bay. Schätz mal, da sollen wir hin. Alles klar. Nach oben ist der richtige Weg. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. 
Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Hello. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Hmm, the Tau. The Sternenreich? The colonists on Pharos might still be alive. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. This is not doing Saren's up, no? I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The 
target was eliminated, mission accomplished, and I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Don't blame yourself, Captain. Uh. <laughs> I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. <laughs> the only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Good, Freunde. Jetzt haben wir hier unser Chef. Aber das war's dann auch für diesen Part. In den nächsten Part geht's los. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Gut, Freunde. So, das war's dann wieder für diesen Part. Im nächsten Part können wir los mit unserem neuen Schiff. Ich bedanke mich wieder fürs Zuschauen und sage bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao.